All right, welcome back to another episode with Norn Tesla, Dan here. Uh, so I just downloaded FSD 12.3.4. This is the newest update that's going wide right now. I'm gonna do the same exact route uh, from the last video. So first roundabout, uh, slowing down. There is no cars whatsoever. So we're just gonna go right through Uh, so the whole point of the video is just see if there's, uh, I'm doing the same route. Uh, so we're, because these updates have been in quick succession, we're gonna see if there's any change in behavior. Uh, so we have a car coming up on the right, it's gonna slow down a little bit, 21. We are going a little slower. I do have the auto uh, speed set to auto. So I'm not really controlling the speed, but it is a 40 here. Uh, here we are back up to speed. So with all the FSD uh, 12 builds, uh, all the versions, it has nailed roundabouts like this one perfectly. Like there's no more issue. It's even signaling now, which hasn't done before. Uh, so usually it would just do the roundabout without signaling, so it just did. Uh, so that's kind of new behavior. So we are gonna make a left here. And then just to my left here, there's a car that's pulled over with its hazards on. Uh, someone's just going in the trunk. You'll see it in a few seconds. Uh, but right now there is no traffic, so we're going to creep up and we're going to go. Uh, here is that guy. So we are going to go in the oncoming lane, no problem. Very smooth. Car over here wasn't concerned with. So yeah, very smooth reaction to the circumstances. Now here we are on our construction zone again. So the speed limit's 50, we're going 51 right now, or 50. And it's easily gonna go to the right and navigate this construction zone. One thing to notice, I'm not seeing any pylons. Uh, someone on uh, X recently commented, uh, we're not seeing the pylons anymore. So I'm not so sure why that is. The high fidelity still shows a little bump there, but the actual pylons aren't being displayed anymore. So these are the roundabouts that are were giving me a hard time last one. So not this one, it'll be the next one, but this one, uh, it is a double lane roundabout. Well, let's just say there's, there's two lanes going, this would be east-west, and then north-south, there's only one lane. So it can be confusing. So we are approaching the roundabout and there's a few cars. I'll make this widescreen so you guys can see more. So there's two cars coming. So we have a blue, so it's gonna say, but it's got a Toyota coming, which is this guy right here. Now Mercedes, which is, should see this guy here, Mercedes stopped. Uh, so we're gonna go. So I saw a little, get a little bit of a gap there and it went. So this is the roundabout I always messed up. So we're gonna go in this lane, we're turning left. So you can see from the street sign up here, we need to be in the left lane to make that left turn. It's literally left, but every single other time I've driven this, it's gonna go into this right lane for some reason. So there's no cars. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? No, we're not gonna do it. So I take over there. Uh, like I said, it went. It keeps going in that right lane for whatever reason. So I'm just going to reactivate it. So we are at destination. So let's see if it's going to park. All right, so it's not quite maneuvered the whole uh, get to the station and park. There's you just gotta drive a little bit to figure out where your parking spots are, uh, and you know I'll just pick one for now. Right. 
So while auto power, so we're just gonna go over that drive. Uh, so again, that one roundabout is just completely messing up. I'm not sure why, it's just getting in the wrong lane and I'm not too sure why. Uh, but all the other ones have been fine. So what maybe what I'll do is next time, I'll just go at it at a different direction and see what it does. So my video before that, you'll notice that it was like, it got into the wrong lane, but then it just would kept going straight as opposed to trying to correct itself. Uh, but that was not an interesting situation. I found that was drifting, there was cars, there was a busy roundabout and there was cars on your side. So I didn't want to drift into that lane. So I did take over, but uh, yeah, I don't know why that specific roundabout is an issue. Anyways, uh, so that is update 12.3.4. So not that much change in behavior in terms of the previous uh, release. Uh, again, I was hoping that maybe it would correct that uh, roundabout, but not. So anyways. Uh, hopefully it keeps on getting better and better. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of zero interpression drives as long as I don't go on that specific roundabout. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Anyways, we'll catch you next week. In the meantime, drive safe, drive electric and drive FSD.